Hello everyone, welcome to my kitchen. I'm Velmore. Today is another dish from the Necro Nom Nom Nom. And it is a dish that comes from the hidden cities deep within the sea, from the creatures known as Deep Ones. It's a tuna tartare, and the name comes from an exclamation or veneration that they use for their god. This is Ahia Ahia Father Dagon. Let's get started. Now for my tartare, I'm going to need to cut up some jalapeno, some scallion, avocado, and of course tuna. And now I am going to make the marinade for my tartare. We're just going to start with some olive oil, lime zest, lime juice, some hot sauce, some soy sauce, salt, and pepper. And I'm going to mix all that together. Now I'm going to pour that sauce over my tuna, add my jalapeno and my scallions, and I'm going to mix everything together. Now I'm going to add in my avocado, mix that around as well. Now I'm going to add in some toasted sesame seeds, and then just to finish off the seasoning with a pinch more salt. And then I am going to let this marinade in the fridge for about an hour. So H.P. Lovecraft was a fiction writer born in the 1890s, and he was one of the pioneers of a genre referred to as cosmic horror. Lovecraft's stories were loosely connected short fiction published mainly in pulp magazines. A common theme for many of these stories was that the true nature of the universe is beyond human comprehension. And humanity's place in the cosmos is terrifyingly small. And there's also a large focus on ancient extraterrestrial entities that with just the mere knowledge of their existence, human beings are driven to madness. For a pop culture kind of reference, this would be less of a science fiction horror like Alien and more along the lines of something like Event Horizon. Some of his most well-known creations are The Creature Cthulhu, which occasionally shows up in other forms of media, and a book called The Necronomicon, full of ancient lore and forbidden secrets, which probably shows up a little more frequently. He was relatively unknown during his own life, but his creations endured through the writings of several of his close friends after his death. And Father Dagon appears in the short story just simply called Dagon, which was one of his first published works. And I mentioned earlier that he is worshipped by creatures known as Deep Ones. And Deep Ones are fish-like humanoid creatures. They have large fish heads with sharp rows of teeth. They're scaly with ridged spike backs and webbed claws and are usually a greenish gray color. And Dagon is believed to be a gargantuan ancient deep one. And now that that has marinated for a bit, I'm going to take a big handful. I'm going to form it into a ball and I'm going to place it into a bed of quinoa. And I'm going to top it with what the book calls a golden ring of the apple of pine. So this was a very delicious meal. I love tuna. It is one of my favorite seafoods. And then it was just coated in this wonderful marinade that was a little sweet, a little spicy, acidic, salty. It had a little bit of everything. 
this is one of those things that touches on all the flavors. And I enjoyed the nice little contrast of the cold fish with the hot quinoa. And the book called for quinoa or rice or any kind of grain that you wanted. I hope you enjoyed. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter at chef underscore Valmore. The links will be in the description below. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and come on back next week for another recipe.